My hair's kind of a mess. Hi guys, I'm gonna head out to work on building my friend's office computer for his business, um, Kai's Farm Brewery. Um, he's opened up his own brewery, so we're gonna go build him a computer, basically, for that office workspace. Got my backpack full of stuff, got my handy water bottle, and then I got some handy tools just in case things go wrong. We heading out. I'll show you more of the brewery in just a sec. So here are all the parts we're gonna use. Now, if you're wondering why this motherboard, since you might think it's overkill, we got it for a very decent price for the IO, and when you get a good price for IO, you just go with it. We have the case over here, the Silverstone Fara 513, I think. The most important thing is that it has this five and a quarter inch bay here, so we can use the um, CD and DVD. Uh, burner and writer because we need that. Uh, we have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 3200 megahertz, have a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD for the operating system, and a two terabyte storage for the main storage on the system, 750 watt power supply, and just an RX 6600 just for um, decent connections to multiple monitors and things like that. And the CPU is going to be powering it is the 11700, which I went ahead and picked the one with integrated graphics because in case this goes down, you want redundancy to be able to um, connect to monitors so that whatever you're working on does not go down for an extended period of time. We have a couple of extra fans just to make sure the system gets plenty of airflow. And that's about it. It's a pretty basic system, but let's get started with it. Uh, yeah.
Okay, and if you're wondering how, why I wired it like this, it's just in case I ever need to replace this card with a different card that requires more connections for whatever reason, then it's right here and easily available to go ahead and install a new one so that they don't need to route the cables or anything. And you're not gonna see this because the side panel is just, it, you can't see through the side panel anyway. So that's why I wired it like this. That way it doesn't get in the fan's way and it's easy to go ahead and replace something if they need to. So here it is guys, the PC is all built and he can use it now for all of his office needs, which is great. And now we'll just go to Caius to hear a little bit more about the brewery. This is Caius, he's the Hello, owner guys. of the brewery. And so what got you into brewing in the first place? So I went to college in Middlebury, Vermont and I was going through a bit of a rough period and one of my close friends at the time brought me to Hill Farmstead. I didn't like beer at all, but I remember going into the tap room, trying a bottle of a sour with peaches and pears. I took one sip and then it's like a light bulb went off. Yeah, from that, all of this obsession is just what This happened. entire thing. Got my hands on anything I could to read about brewing. Started home brewing pretty quickly thereafter. My friends are the lucky ones. They just get to try free beer. Um, but then, yeah, I went, got accepted to Oxford for my master's and I had a gut feeling that I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do brewing. I did the master's and then still wanted to do brewing. So complete 180 from archeology, span which is what I was studying. Now I am very happy with beer. This one is uh, an American IPA. Its name is Brutus. It's named after Lucius Junius Brutus, who was one of the founders of the Roman Republic. I like to name all the beers after famous people in ancient history, mainly Roman and Greek history, since that's what I studied. But yeah, this one is definitely a bit more approachable. I don't want them to be over the top hoppy or over the top bitter. I like that nice balance where you get that clean bitterness to clean your palate a nice multi character to balance the hops and you can still taste some of that juiciness from the hops and those good oils that you can get in the hops. So this one, I get a lot of grapefruit, orange, a little bit of passion fruit and a little bit of overripe mango. I know Josh really gets orange, so <laughs> that's the beauty of it. Everyone can taste what they want to. And then what other kind of brews do you make besides uh, uh, the IPAs? So IPAs are, I, I like to brew them, but they're not my true love of brewing, my love of brewing or any German style of beer. Um, part of my brewing education was done in Munich, Germany, where I lived there for about four or five months, learning how to brew over there. Um, so lagers specifically, I, I think there's just such an art and perfection to brewing a good classic lager that it really challenges me to think a lot more about process and the ingredients and really the quality of ingredients that you're getting. Whereas for me in IPA, I do love to spend time on the base recipe, but I do think they're, they're definitely brewed differently and I like more complex mash regimes. Uh, I like extended conditioning. I think that has a beautiful effect on beer. IPAs I do love. I love me a good IPA, especially in the summer, but lagers are one of my true loves. And then the others are mixed fermentations. I've been developing my own culture for six years now. I really like my sours to be wine-like. I was a huge wine drinker before beer and still am. I probably drink wine about the same amount as beer, sometimes more, because I critique beer too much when I think about it or drink it. I like the sours to be very inspired by wine. I really love that mixed fermentation aspect of brewing and it really allows the beer to have its own life cycle and you can taste through the different changes the beers goes through and then extended conditioning in the bottle again is I love that extended conditioning. I think it really adds a finesse to the beer. Lagers and mixed fermentations are definitely my favorite, but I do love to brew everything. We also have a kettle sour in the tank right now. I love my big stouts, but 
I have a bit more of approachable stout for people, but I typically like to them to be 10 plus percent alcohol, just because I like those as dessert. But yeah, really any style I like brewing, but I do prefer lagers or mixed fermentation. We mainly communicate through Instagram and Facebook. It's at Kai's Farm Brewery for both the Instagram and the Facebook. I would say Instagram is our most used platform. This has been a project in the making for a few <laughs> years now. I'm excited to use that because now we can finally hook up Anton Parr. It's an alcohol meter. So we're able to do alcohol testing on all of our beer here, which is, I think, pretty special. I love using that machine. I learned a lot of my brewing on it. And also the microscope, I love the microbiology aspect. And it's also important for quality control, putting everything through the microscope to see if there's any contaminations that we could spot before the product goes out to everyone, because it's very important to me that everyone's getting the best possible product in their glass at the end of the day. Very soon, we're, we'll be making an announcement about our opening very, very soon. Editing Dark Row here. I took way too long to edit this. The brewery's been open. Go check out the brewery now, go. If you catch a peek through the window over there, maybe you'll get to see the computer, maybe not. It depends on if I'm being antisocial in the office or not. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm totally not antisocial. What are you talking about? I'm not antisocial at all. This whole space, I really, big open concept. I really want everyone to also see as much as they can about the brewing process. I think that's very important too. I love seeing tanks and equipment. I like, I nerd out with beer equipment. So any brewery I go to, I try to see if I can get a sneak peek in the back. So huh. here everyone will be able to see everything. Who knows, maybe on a weekend you'll actually see me brewing. Well, they'll definitely be able to see all that and more. So for now, we'll catch you guys later. Check out the brewery when it opens up. Check out the Instagram. And all you need to do is search up Kai's Farm Brewery, and you should be able to find it. Great. See you guys. My car's all frozen.